Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if you can strike a match with really hot water. So I'm gonna be trying to light a match and even burn some paper with just water. So first, let's just try to see what happens if you try to light a match with water in its liquid state as hot as you can get it, and that's boiling point. Okay, so I have here some boiling water. Let's see if it lights the match. You might guess what's gonna happen. Nothing. That's interesting. It dissolved all of the flammable stuff off the mat. That was unexpected. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's try now, instead of using the liquid water, let's try to use some steam. Maybe that's a little bit hotter and we can get it to light that way. Let's try it. Okay, so now I have some boiling water with a good amount of steam coming out of it. So let's see if this can light the match. And you might have your guesses on this too. Three, two, one. Nope, just a wet match. So the reason is because I'm not really exposing the match to steam here. So steam is actually invisible. What you're seeing here is condensed water. Because the water boils, it goes up here, and once it meets this cold air out here, it condenses and forms little tiny water droplets again. So this white stuff that you see and that we typically call steam isn't actually steam. This is tiny little water droplets. And you can see that here, you can see the steam coming off of this isn't even hotter than boiling. It's only about 50 degrees Celsius. So cool enough that I can just stick my hand in it and not get burned. So now if I want to keep the steam from recondensing into liquid form, I have to keep it hot. And that's why I have this copper coil here. So I'm going to heat up this copper coil with a blowtorch, and then I can heat the steam up to as high of a temperature as I want. And then I can use that very hot steam to possibly light the match. Let's try it. So the hotter I get it, you can see the white condensation start to go away. So now this is steam coming out of it. And this steam is extremely hot because there's no limit to how hot I can get it. Basically, I can get it the same temperature as this blowtorch here. So now let's see if we can light the match with just steam. Okay, three, two, one. Got it. Out. <laughs> there we go. Match lit with just steam. Okay, now let's see what it does to paper. So you see that you can even burn paper with just steam. And just to make sure, so you don't think it's the hot copper burning it, I can set this paper on the copper and it doesn't burn it. But it's the actual steam coming out of it. So and then you can see, as this starts to cool, you get more and more condensation coming out and you see this white steam that we normally call steam. So in reality, this is condensation, not steam. So you'll notice that as this steam comes out, the condensation eventually just disappears again. So it does turn back into water vapor. So the life cycle of this water is that it boils, turns into steam, it comes out of the end here, and the steam turns back into liquid water again due to the cold air around it. But then it doesn't stay as liquid water anymore because the air around it isn't 100% saturated with water. And so some of the water can turn back into vapor and mix with the air and become water vapor in the air. So eventually all this liquid condensation evaporates into the air. And so it goes liquid, vapor, liquid, vapor. And then finally it stays the vapor. So when we we're using the torch to heat the steam, there's really no limit to how hot the steam could get. So that's how we were able to light the match and even burn paper with it. But you'll notice the paper didn't start on fire at all right away. That's because there wasn't enough oxygen around it to light it on fire. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and hit the bell button to be notified when my latest videos out. And if you have any suggestions or comments or questions, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And I'll see you next time.